today guys we are actually be doing something new um i haven't really done this and i've heard a lot of people doing it and they said it's one of the fastest ways to get exotics if you guys have enough resources and i'll explain that in a second but the first thing you guys need to do is make sure you have one extra character available you can see i have three right here i have one so i'm going to create a new agent and then also we have to make sure that we start the main campaign not warlords of new york so you want to click that now we're gonna try to time this from start to finish so starting right now to the end and see how long it takes us so we're about 30 minutes 30 seconds into the video so after that obviously you guys want to just kind of time it from there now what I'll tell you is what you want to do is just make sure you you speed through this because you're not gonna keep this character so use whatever character you can just confirm get through this as fast as possible now on average, I've been seeing between eight minutes to nine minutes, you get an exotic. So you'll get exotic every eight to nine minutes if you guys do this method right. Now, it's pretty simple to do, but I will tell you a couple things right off the bat is you need to make sure you have resources on your characters, on your main characters, because when you share the account, right, when you share the account resources, if you don't have resources, this could take a lot longer than it really should. And obviously you have to have one extra slot. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through this real quick. Kill this, kill these guys real quick. And then once we do this, I think we should be good, right? Oh no, one over here. All right, I think we should be good. This guy has to run, get it, get blown up. So you're going down. All right, so we're gonna pick up Agent De La Cruz. We have to get down there to help him. And recommend just skipping through all the cutscenes, okay. right? So you gotta just do this. And I decided to do this without skipping anything, right? So I just wanted to show you guys, so you guys can see how long it actually takes to, even with me getting through each cutscene. And I think this would be a great way for you guys to see if this is worth it for you guys. I'll tell you. From my experience, what I've seen is if you guys can get an exotic on every drop in countdown, if you're looking for materials too at the same time, that's gonna be a lot better. If you're just looking for exotics, components, doing this eight to nine minutes, and if you have those resources, well, this is definitely going to be a little bit faster. So we'll go through here. Now, what you have to do is just make sure you cut through all the cutscenes. You're gonna make it all the way to the base of operations. So that's what we'll be doing right now. Now, another tip is after you do it the first time, make sure you note what resources you actually need. So I think this week I need water, ceramics, titanium, and then receiver components and something else, which I think I have a ton of, right? I think I have like 4,000 of each and then probably like 1,500 of ceramics. And I definitely have enough receiver components because I play a lot of countdown and I deconstruct everything in countdown. So you tend to get those, a lot of those. So we're, what, about three minutes into the video, so we're gonna keep going through this. And it's, I think it's actually pretty sad that we actually have to find different methods to farm exotics because it takes so many exotics to actually level up your gear because the fact is when you deconstruct an exotic, you only get one component. So either they can raise how much it costs to when you deconstruct it, an, an item or they can make us give us a lot better ways to actually earn exotics right this method is very boring though and you will get bored very quickly and like i said if you're looking for something that gives you materials it, you can farm here at the same time or farm weapons at the same time this might not be the best way for you guys now if you guys are fully maxed out on everything don't need any gear and you only need exotic components to max out your stuff well this might be a way for you or if you guys want to if you're missing like you just need two exotics and you want to get them pretty quick this could be something for you guys to do would i personally do this over and over um probably not to be honest like just i get bored pretty easily since i do put a lot of time into this game so farming doing something like this where I'm literally just running through the first part of the mission. Where's this guy? Over here. I'm just running through the first part of the mission. Then I'm, I'm running around picking up whatever resource I need. 
and then I'm sharing the blueprints. It, it does get a little. So once you get to the base of operation though, you wanna just cut through here. You're gonna make it all the way in and then you have one more cut scene you need to skip. So you do this, so it's base of operation unlocked. So we're at about five minutes, almost five minutes. So I'm thinking we should be able to do this in eight minutes. So we'll go to the base. And then we just gotta talk to... There's two things we need to do before we're allowed to do what we need to do. So we need to talk to the base and we need to get our first skill. Hey, the help so we'll go through here. We'll talk to division coordinator, right? All right, we talked to him, we skip. By the way, Agent. And now we're gonna go to the quartermaster. To the quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. Talk you're to gonna him. The edge. Looks like you're ready to learn a new skill. What will it be? All right, so we're just gonna grab a skill, doesn't matter. And there we go, got the skill. So we have to do this. Now, once you guys get one skill, Later. you guys can click do this. You need to make sure you go to the store Go to add-ons, and most of you guys should have this if you guys bought Warlords in New York. A level 30 boost, I own it. If you don't, you'll have to get it. It's something you'll need, and then you can kick boost character. Now remember, you have to make it all the way to where I just made it with that one skill, and then you could do the boost. If you guys try to do this prior to getting your first skill, it's gonna say you can't do it. If you try to do this before you do the prologue, it's gonna say you can't do this. You have to make sure you make it all the way to where I made it, where you talk to the division coordinator, you unlock the base of operation, you get that skill, and then, then you can hit the boost. Now the boost is gonna push you 230. So we're about, what, seven minutes. This part takes a little bit, I've noticed, just trying, to, cause it's, it's moving us from one all the way to 30. What the boost does is it lets you start as a level 30 character, you go straight to end game. So we're gonna skip this cutscene, and we're at seven minutes. When you got a minute, come and see me at the so now you can see we're at on some new level 30. We're gonna go right here. You need to make sure you go over to the, the crafting vendor, and then you need this, account shared materials. You have to do this, guys, because if you don't, it's gonna take you longer. Then we're gonna go look at our blueprints, and if you go to projects, you'll see that we need 250 water, 500 receiver components, 500 um, protective fabric, ceramics, and titanium. If you look, we have everything. We have enough of everything, right? The only thing I need is water. So for this one, water, what I tell you, to get 250 water real quick, this one right here will give you 250. There's exactly 250 in there for you guys to get it. Every time I go there, always get 250. And if you don't, you'll be like short, maybe like five or 10. So just go over to Lincoln Memorial, what we're at. We're sitting at seven minutes and 30 seconds. So like I said, about eight, eight minutes to nine minutes, you'll have that, you'll deconstruct it, you'll be done with this. And that's from when you create the character all the way to the end. So about what, eight, nine minutes, we'll, we'll see though. We're at eight minutes right now. So we have about one minute to grab all this water. It shouldn't be too hard. All we have to do is go over here and grab all this. So we're just gonna grab this right here. So we got here, here. See, this is why I like this spot right here by Lincoln Memorial. There's just so much water. It's usually the spot. If there's ever water, you have to donate whether you guys are doing this on normal characters or not. And you'll probably notice that we're going to get a level 30. We'll get a level 30 um, exotic, but it doesn't matter because it's we're using it for the exotic component. And I think that might be, that might be 250. Let's check. So oh, here we go. And there we go. So it took us, what, nine minutes and 15 seconds? And then we just have to open this. So about 10 minutes, you guys should be able to do this. You guys can probably do this a little bit quicker. That was a little slow on my end. And then all I do is deconstruct it. I get the exotic component. Look now, have four exotic components, and that's it right there. So if you guys are looking for a fast and efficient way to get this, as long as you guys have the materials, like if you go to your materials, if you go over to resources, as long as you guys have a lot of materials, this shouldn't be an issue because the one thing you'll have to get is exact is a components, and this week it's water. So if I keep doing this, I could just have to I just go to the same spot. This is actually the easier one to get. If not, then you need to look for whatever component it is, whether it's water, it might be food, 
It might just be those components. But yeah, that's gonna be a fast and easy way for you guys to get an exotic. And when you're done, you just close that, you delete the character, and you can do this over. You guys saw that I have a lot of materials, so I can continue to do this over, over, and over. And that's it. And then all I do is delete the agent. And he, see, nine minutes total play time. And I can start over. So about nine, every nine minutes, you guys can get this done. So let me know what you guys actually think about this method. Have you tried it? What do you guys think? Personally, I'll probably stick to countdown more. If I need one or two exotics, I'll probably do that. But for me, I'd rather use this character for an extra shade watch character. Like go through Warlords, get my shade watch, and then use those materials to help level up some of my gear, right? Like, so I don't know. You can do a lot of different things with your extra character, but this is just one. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, hey, nothing must goes out. Take it easy, everybody.